Will the upcoming Xbox version of a Microsoft Flight Simulator be the same as the current PC version? We'll answer that and more Xbox news in this video. Welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator update video. This is where we bring you all the news and updates on the development of this new flight sim. If you want to stay up to date with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 news, hit that subscribe button and help us reach our goal of 65,000 subscribers before the end of February. Straight into the Xbox Flight Simulator news, Jorg Newman, the head of Microsoft Flight Simulator, talked to a gaming website called Twin Infinite on February the 3rd and was asked some questions around Xbox development and the future of the simulator. When asked what was your expectation for the release on Xbox, George talked about how a large Xbox audience has been dedicated to the Xbox console since the beginning. This is a real opportunity to bring millions of people to take a look at the new sim. We need to earn their trust, so we are quite focused on making sure it works well on Xbox. George mentions that the sim will need to have a good framework to look great on the console version, and they will never dumb down the sim from the PC version. Great news for the console users as they should be expecting a similar sim version to what we see on the PC today. Jorg went on and said that the team will be looking at improving the onboarding parts and the tutorials as they will be expecting an influx of people who have never flown a plane in a sim before. So the idea is to make it even less scarier for a newcomer than it is at the moment. His expectation is that the sim will look virtually the same depending on which Xbox you bought. It will be like having PCs with different video cards. Something else he mentions is that the sim both PC and on console will be crossplay. So you can play on Xbox and will have a cloud saves and you can move to your PC and keep playing. Unfortunately, no mention for both platforms will we have the ability to share the same multiplayer servers. Jorg talked about needing the right equipment for long time use on the console version. The gamepad works fine, mouse and keyboard works fine, but long term you probably want to get something like rudder pedals or a yoke, which was announced late last year that Honeycomb will be bringing their suite of products uh, to the Xbox version of the new sim. There is no doubt that the third parties have been the lifeblood of flight simulations world for many years now. This is very new territory for them as third party developers. When Jorg was asked what he envisioned for the third party support on Xbox, he replied the same. He has a little doubt that certainly all the airports and sceneries will be transported quite easily. On the plane side of things, there will be a little bit of work to be done. Jorg did confirm later on in the interview that it will need to be in the marketplace for it to be put on Xbox. You can't just put something into a folder on Xbox, he said. Which means, in my opinion, we wouldn't expect products like water or replay utilities to make it to the console version. Most likely, it's only going to be airport sceneries and aircraft. Jorg said it's pretty clear that everyone is excited because they will meet consumers that they've never met before. We are now working through how this looks with the menus. We're probably going with some iconic graphic showing you what is available on what platform that you're currently on, because the Marketplace Store is the same regardless on what platform you are playing on. In my opinion, this certainly will be an interesting time for flight simulation in general. With the release of the sim to Xbox, we should see the community grow with many new virtual pilots joining the hobby. And by the looks of it, Microsoft is scaling up, as they mentioned that the team will roughly double in size very soon. The rest of the interview talked about the upcoming World Update 3, which should see this release um, this week, and a little about what is to be expected with the fourth update, including AI traffic. I will leave a link below if you would like to check out the full interview from Twin Infinite. If you enjoyed this quick little Xbox update video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 news. Please help us reach our goal to hit 65,000 subscribers before the end of February, and we will leave you with another Flight Simulator video here, and we'll see you over there.